That's a half decent day out. Let's open the garage door. I gotta get my truck out. My table saws on that side, and we'll start figuring out the Martin boxes. Okay, we have the length of the box now, and they're just about uh, 12 inches. So it's not important that the exact length there, but you know, what you're trying to do is not waste any of the um, any of the plywood. That's for sure. So now we're going to uh, figure out what we need. So we're going to use measuring the outside here because we need ours longer because we're using three quarter because the inside board is half inch. That's not going to change when we make it with our three quarter. So pretty simple, it's seven and a quarter. And like I said, the board we're going to use for the inside that's going to hold the trap is three quarter. So seven and a quarter. So we have to add on one board, that'll be eight inches. And add on the other side, it'll be eight and three quarter that we need those uh, half inch pieces. So we would need them eight and a quarter instead of eight and three quarters if we're reusing half inch plywood for the inside board. So now we're gonna cut the three quarter and we're gonna get everything in the strips and then we'll take it from there. Be good. <sighs> so now I want to get my six and a half, and what I'm going to do is double check that. I'll take my box here. And remember the three quarters going are going for the for the side that, that holds the trap. And that's the inside measurement we need. So six and a half. And like I said, that's so we have a lot of meat when the half inch goes over here. Well you'll see when I put it together. So let's do all this all these pieces. And if we need some more, we got some scrap to take care of that. So right now, I want to make my blades pretty much shot on here. Let me see if I have another one. So there we go. We have a six and a half now. And that's for the side. And there's one. Okay, I think we said this is going to be eight and three quarter. Seven and a quarter, eight. Yeah, eight and three quarter. Eight and three quarter in order to match that that side. But what we're going to do is going to cut two pieces just to make sure that we're uh, that we're going to have the box we need. Okay, seven and a quarter, eight, eight and three quarters. And that'll give us seven and a quarter on the inside. stop here. Uh, I can't remember where it goes. Oh, these holes here. 
Yeah, it slides in there. And you can tighten it, and I don't recall where it is. But I'm sure I'll find it once I'm done. Okay, let's go see if putting this box together is going to be the correct measurements. We'll get two decent pieces here. I just have one sitting here together. I didn't nail it or anything. Just using this as weight. So this should be seven and a quarter. Well, this one, uh, I say seven and a quarter, but this one up here is seven and three sixteenths, and so is this one. I'm just doing exactly what I did on the other one, just to make sure. Not that hard to do. And this should be six and a half, yep. And six and a half. There we go. So our boxes are ready to go. We just have to router these after we cut all those. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 boxes. I was estimating 22, so we got 21. And that's perfect. That's all we need for the trap line. So now we're going to figure out uh, what we're going to do for making our slots. So what I'm doing now is I have a sample here. You can see the lines I drew from uh, from the sample Martin box we're using. And then I drilled a hole at the end. And I think I'll run lines like that all on all of them. And that way I know exactly where to cut because the boards ain't perfect. You gotta remember uh, I was you know I didn't have a stop block there, so they're not all exactly six and a half, some are a little longer. And the boards are not exactly perfect. And it doesn't matter, it's just a marking box. So I already drilled a bunch of holes into some boards. I drew some lines, and yeah, this is my sample one I've got to keep. So these ones already have lines on them. So I'm going to continue. This only takes a couple seconds, and I don't have to worry if I'm bang on or not on the table saw. You know, what's a few minutes of my time? And I don't like to have the slots on the Martin box really big. I don't like uh, really twisting them. So, you know what? I have the time. Might as well do a nice job, right? Thirteen down there, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. Our Martin box is ready. Well, I got a fishing kit together, and I was going to use this container here, but it's in lot of shatter at forty below. I think this one's better, and I can get. The rest of the hooks like do squeak into here. So I got some 10 pound line in here. Do. I got a pickerel rig. Why not? And oh, this one fell over the package. I'll take it with me. So, I don't know if it would be any good. It's just like this one here. shot. Put a little worm on them. That's pretty cool. We'll try it out. And some jigging hooks, I think they're called. I'm not sure. I'm not a big fisherman. Throw those in there. I got six of those. And that's that. There's our little fishing container. And if we have something better at the trap line or goose creek, we'll uh, use that. 
Or maybe I'll even find something here. That's way better than this container. Okay, that's done. I'll give you guys one more peek at the numbers for the Martin box. In case you want to build some. You want to build a tapered. So that's six and a half for the inside board. I always call this the nailing board. So six and a half by four inches for the tapered. Eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. Of course, this is the inside board, as you can see. And that's a three-eighths router bit plunged four inches deep. So that's a that's a nice box. I you see me um, made. I made a whack load of these and that's what I was using up the trap light forever but I ran out now. But I don't need to make them like that anymore. And this one of course has a, a hinge and a place to keep your bait away from the mice and all the other thieves. If you want to make them that way, I don't. My brother Charlie finally dropped off the tent. He got his moose. You want moose hunting with the other bros? And that's that's a nice bag it comes in and it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, that's for sure. So that's rolled up really well. And in this bag here, there's a frame for the tent. A steel frame. My brother Charlie said he bought that. I can't remember. BC or something? You yeah, that's quite the... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm going to take that with me when we, we go to uh, um, the lake we're going to try to fish on. I think I'll just cut my own poles when we get there. We'll see. We'll set it up at the trap line and or at the camp. See what it's like to set up. It's not heavy. And you know, if I feel like it's going to be a little bit quicker than getting wood, or getting wood poles, then of course we'll take it with us. I'll take a couple of these in, and I forgot to talk about Starlink with you guys before I head in. So I got an email saying that there's Starlink at the trap line now. So there's going to be service there. And you know, I had to give them whatever balance I owed them. I decided to decline. I'm not going to have a Starlink out there this season. Why? I'll just keep it very simple. I have Starlink here. They're supposed to be bringing in fiber optic this summer to St. Laurent. This equipment is paid for, and that was paid for by the municipality. Actually, I just got my check. I'm not going to go into that, but that's awesome, right? So I got my $800 check for it. I might as well wait, because if I get the fiber optic, then all I have to do is pay $50 to move this to the trap line. So that's a thousand bucks in my pocket. Because I think the, the new equipment is about a thousand dollars now. So we'll, we'll leave it at that. So nothing's uh, going to be happening at the trap line this year. I'll just have my in-reach like normal. And uh, unless something changes next, I think I have three or four days before uh, I have to make up my mind, but I'm pretty sure I did. I'm not picking that. That's a lot of money in the show. But I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go have some tea and something to eat. And uh, get some other stuff done. And one of them is work on my equipment for uh, the season coming up. So we'll see you guys on the next one. And it's nice to get that out of the way.